Hello, this is another SOLIDWORKS feature in three minutes. Today we're looking at the jog feature. Top plane, normal two, sketch. We need a piece of plate to do this feature. So we are putting together 150 by 50 mil. And we are saying base flange tab, leave that to two mil, 0.5 and 0.5. File sketch so we're sketching on the top plate I'm dropping a line and very much same as the sketch bend we come in 25 mil make that line 40 and we we'll drop it 5 mil I'm a defined user so I always define every sketch sheet metal and we're on jog so we're using this as our flat. So our fixed face, we're using the small face. Our blind, so as you can see, our jog fits together nicely. Always remember when you're putting in jogs and the likes that think of the V dies that you're using. So that jog might have to be 50 mil high to let our V dies operate. Keep jog position as center, obviously can off center, etc and you would add the bend allowance then which is k factor of 0 0.5 you set the bend allowance to what is required bend allowance in something like a jog all depends how exact the component is but probably would be we just bend this back down top face again sketch draw a line once again set that line at we had set 40 in five and we'll send it back to 25 again file and we go cheap metal jog we're using this as our fixed face and now we can reverse our jog and we're using our custom bend allowance file flatten there is our Jog flat pattern. Just drop a line from here to here. And we are now on 243.13 in length. Sheet metal, like off flatten. We never specified our material. File isometric. That is another SOLIDWORKS feature in three minutes. We had looked at the jog feature. Please like and subscribe. Check out my channel for other long form content on SOLIDWORKS tutorials. Till the next time.